Hello ladies and gentlemen, Like Designs here, actually no, Mike from Like Designs here, I'm bringing you a Photoshop tutorial and on this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to do some uh, HDR toning to your bland uh, pictures, um, blank and boring pictures, um, usually when um, a picture doesn't have too much uh, nice uh, coloring to it or uh, contrast or whatever you want to call it, um, this is the way to fix it, um, for example, when something looks like this. Uh, to you guys, before you see the actual good looking picture, this already looks good to you. And don't get me wrong, it does look good, but um, there's a way to make it look a lot bigger. Um, usually when I do stuff with any sort of image, um, especially when you're gonna mask or something, I recommend um, using a high quality photo. Uh, usually I go through uh, very high dimensions and um, anything uh, between 19, 20, and 1080 and higher uh, would work um, just because you can see the detail and it's a lot better now I'll show I'll be showing you guys how to make something um, look from this to this as you can see it um, <laughs> it definitely looks a lot better on this image over here and it's definitely a lot bigger in size it's 14 megabytes compared to the 6 megabytes um, one over here um, now this is very simple to do uh, basic skill really and it won't take very long very simple tutorial let's close out of this and the first thing you want to do is drag the image that you want to convert uh, to Adobe Photoshop I'll be using CS5 you can use whatever you like whatever um, it must have HDR toning though um, so next thing you do is go up to image adjustments and go down to HDR toning and once you do that it'll ask you that um, the um, tone, the HDR toning will flatten the document. Uh, do you wish to proceed? Uh, you, obviously, you're going to put yes, or else you can't do anything. And right away, um, when you do click yes, it'll right away look good. Um, it'll it'll make it look a bit nice right away, as you can see here. Um, but there's obviously some more things you can do to make it look even nicer. Um, first thing you want to do is raise the detail level a little bit higher. Um, not too much if you raise it all the way to max it just looks bad um, looks kind of like a painting sort of <laughs> um, so just just a little bit um, enough to um, raise the detail um, enough to, for you can so you can see the details of the, of the trees in the back mountains a little bit more um, now with the shadowing next thing you do is shadowing raise it all the way down to negative 100 and um, that just makes the shadowing look a, not, a lot nicer, um, a lot darker, I should say. Um, highlights, really, I don't ever mess with this. Um, basically, what this does is um, it gives anything that's a, a sort of whitish color, a more vibrant uh, look, more bright look, uh, sort of like this. Um, I don't ever mess with that, really. Uh, there's no need, unless you just want a, vi a bit of a... a uh, vibrance to it then uh, you can go ahead and do that uh, it um, usually only affects um, something that looks bright already something that's um, white usually um, next thing you do is raise the vibrance all the way up to max and that's what gives it the um, the nice look basically uh, let's see all bland looking vibrance all the way up all good looking right away um, the trees look greener, um, the water looks um, bluer, uh, the skies definitely look bluer. Um, the, um, the clouds are, uh, the detail is a bit more highlighted um, whenever you raise the vibrance all the way up. Saturation, don't ever mess with this. Um, I usually leave it at 20 basically because if you raise it up it, um, I don't know. Uh, it gives it too much of that vibrance quality and it doesn't um, give it a realistic feel I should say so just always leave it on 20 at least I always leave it on 20 um, so once you're done with that just um, click OK or enter or whatever and um, it'll start converting the image and you'll have the image like this right away and if you compare it to the old image it'll you'll definitely see a difference to it um, this is uh, you could use this technique uh, to make your 
um, family photos and stuff look a lot more professional. Um, anything basically, if you're taking a photo of a car, or if you're a photographer, basically, um, if you wanna, unless you're one of those photographers that like uh, your pictures to look, uh, your photos looking more natural, and um, yeah, uh, this is basically what you do, and um, it'll make it look a lot nicer actually. And this works with a lot of pictures. Um, like I said, you can do it on basically any picture, but um, I usually go for higher quality images um, just because it's um, higher quality and you can see everything just about better as you can see here. Uh, very good quality. Um, yeah. So yeah, that has been my, I don't know, I think my like second tutorial or, or whatnot. Um, so yeah, this has been a Photoshop tutorial. Um, I hope to make some more. And if you guys would be kind enough to subscribe, that would be awesome. And also, um, thumbs up to these videos. And if you want any, uh, sorry, burp there. Um, if you have any recommendations on what I should um, make next, um, just send me a message, um, comments or something. Uh, if you guys want to learn how to do something, I'll definitely show you guys how to do it. Um, there's very little things that I know how to do on um there's very little, sorry, sorry. There's very little things that I do not know how to do on this um, on this program. It's a very um, um, complicated sometimes program, but it's very uh, easy when you use it for a, little, for a while. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and um, comment my videos and uh, rate and everything. Uh, so yeah, peace.